Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to install um, the SMF bulletin board or form system onto your website. Alright, so you're probably watching this either on YouTube or createwebsite.cc. Um, so you have your browser open already. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a quick Google search for SMF form. And then you're just going to click the first link that shows up. And the great thing about this form system is that it's all free. All right, It's free and it's written in PHP, so most web servers can run it. Um, hit the download link. And you're going to download the zip file. Hit save file. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, installing this on my local host but the process is pretty much the same alright so drag the folder out to your desktop and now what you're going to want to do is um, n upload this zip file um, to your website um, let's see depending on your web host you might have to connect to FileZilla um, connect to your website via to an FTP like FileZilla um, let me just show you like I'd open this up and then I'd type in my host, my username, my password, my port to my web host. If you don't have a web host, go check out um, how to get a domain name and a web host here under the getting started section of createwebsite.cc. And after doing that, um, you should get information on how to connect to your web host either through the browser or through FileZilla. So now you're gonna, um, like I said, you're gonna upload it. So in my case, my server is running on my computer, so I just have to simply drag it over into this directory here. Um, I'm using Examp. If you guys want to just test um, this SMF form bulletin out, you can download Examp. Uh, again, I have a tutorial on that on createwebsite.cc how to set up your own test server exam and this tutorial just walks you through it has a few FAQ questions here and it's 100% free so always good to know alright so you're just gonna extract this here it'll take a second and now you should have all these files here and now you're gonna just open up your browser and you're going to simply go to your website's domain name. So let's say my website was example.com or createwebsite.com. Um, and assuming that the SMF board is installed in the root directory, we just type in the name of our website and hit enter. Mine's localhost. So I'm just going to type localhost and give it a second and it's brought me up to the SMF installer so the first field is our form name we're just gonna name it um, now let's name it our form you can name this whatever you want it's just the name of your form that will be displayed to your users now the form URL this is the website URL to your website so if your website was createwebsite.cc you'd type that in but without the trailing slash. Um, not using the trailing slash is very, very important. GZIP output. Compress output to save bandwidth. Uh, make sure that's checked. You want to save as much bandwidth as you can. Because once your website, once your forum's like gotten bigger and more users are more active on the forum, you're going to want to compress as many files as you, as you possibly can. Database sessions. Um, use a database for sessions instead of using files. Make sure that's checked. And these things are optional if you want. Well, stack collection or UTF-8 character set. Alright. Now then your next part is... Um, find is creating a database. So... To create a database, it's different for all web hosts. Um... Let's see. 
if you're a HostGator user or a GoDaddy user, they have or one-on-one -on -one hosting, or if you mean hosted with one-on-one, -on -one, they have their own database creation processes built into their control panel. So, and if you don't know how, just contact your um, host and they'll explain it. Usually they have tutorials on all this. So, just navigate over to your PHP MyAdmin. And you're going to want to create a new database. Um, under the MySQL localhost section, just give your database a name. I'm just going to name it SMF under dash form. I'm just going to hit create. And now I'm going to go over to privileges. And I'm just going to add a new user. I'm just going to name him James. Host will be localhost. Password will be 123456. 123456. And then I'm just going to put M and M because it has to have a number or a letter as well. So I'm just going to check all these and hit go. Now that I have a user, um, I'm going to give my server's name. This is almost always localhost, so try that first. Unless you're using one on one hosting because that's it's different with them. Um, my SQL username, it's going to be James because that's what we created in here. My SQL password, 123456M. Database name, SMF under dash form. And then the table prefix, if you only have one database, you can put this here to keep it convenient. All right, and hit proceed. And close that out. What's great is that it installs all the content for you. Um, your administrative username. I'm just going to name mine admin. Give yourself a password. Give your email address that your members can contact you with. And then your database password. Again, 123456M. Hit finish. Click here to delete the install.php file now. Yes, make sure you check that. It's dangerous to have it still. All right, and uh, oops. As you can see, the theme's messed up because um, I'm running on localhost and it can't read things correctly. Um, <laughs> don't worry, it won't do this for you. Anyways, the form's successfully created. Um, you can now go into your admins panel and start editing things. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.